Now, and you're looking at the city of Mumbai. We have three minutes to the trading day. Futures pointing to a low open down by six tenths of one percent, which is pretty much in line with the rest of the region. Yep, we're uh, focusing on India now and uh, taking a look at uh, the man who runs the country's biggest zinc and silver producer, as well as being also the biggest zinc producer by market value. Okay, we're getting over now to Arun Misra, who is Hindustan Zinc CEO and whole time director. Arun, thank you so much for joining us. Well, you must have been really, really doing well earlier this year. We saw zinc prices uh, up at one stage nearly 40%. We've come down about 14%, but still up about 18 since the start of the year. So you've been coining it, have you? So the prices have been good, and uh, that's only one part of the story. And I believe that finally the demand supply equation will fail take its own place and the prices would settle at a level that which is good for both supplier as well as consumer. Uh, if I put it in the proper perspective, uh, yes, COP26 happening and the world turning its focus to sustainability. I see zinc as a solution for sustainability across the globe. It reduces uh, corrosion. It also helps in maintaining government-made infrastructure, operate for much longer time than usual. In India, typically about 15 to 20 percent of the railway lines need to be replaced every year due to corrosion. We can stop that if we make all the railway lines across India and across the rest of the world are also galvanized. And I see great future there. And as the world is opening up post-COVID, we are experiencing new forms of different crises. We had the crisis of labor shortage, uh, of non-operation of mines, then the COVID vaccine came. And now we are seeing uh, some uh, problems of logistics, container shortage, and then the coal crisis. Yes, it's one challenge after another, but the prices are up and so are up the commodity input prices. So it's a fine balance as an operator I have to play between the rising input prices and also rising output prices. Ara, just give me a sense of how these power shortages, these coal shortages affected your business. And though some of them have abated, uh, how is it all playing through right now? So in India, typically, we, I, we as an industrialist, we don't see power shortage. Yes, there have been challenges on the coal sourcing front. And for Hindustan Zinc, we have our own power plants, uh, roughly about 400 megawatts of power generating capacity, thermal power we have. So I didn't face much problem. But yes, uh, on the purchasing of coal was a concern. But we were well protected by having forward contracts up till March. Uh, last few weeks, the indexes have slipped and looks like it is cooling down again. Uh, let's hope for the best going forward in quarter four. But uh, Hindu Sun Zinc is well protected till the end of quarter four as far as coal supplies are concerned and absolutely no reasons to worry there. Uh, Arun, let's talk about production. You flagged a production cut of about 25,000 tons because of uh, shutdowns for repairs. Can you make up for that production loss in the course of the year? So we have we have we did cut down on production because of one of the roasters having a extended shutdown last quarter, and going forward from this quarter onwards, we are in the best of the period. We have finished all our shutdown work last month, and quarter three, quarter four. Typically in India, it is the winter season. Uh, fantastic ambient weather, which is helpful for smelters as well as underground mines. We took over capacity at about 1.2 million ton uh, capacity that we have. And I'm sure some of it can be made up in the in this two quarters itself. So talk to us about your production levels. What are you expecting for this uh, financial year? And linked to that, what are your expansion plans? So this, in this financial year, I'm sure on the metal in concentrate production, if I look at it, we should be crossing 1 million ton and above, which should be first time in Hindustan Zinc's history. On the metal front, finished metal front, we should be anywhere close to so 980 to 990,000 tons, so which is very close to 1 million ton target that I had kept for myself. And uh, next year onwards, I'm, I'm seeing absolutely zero effect of COVID if it is not there. We should be at 1.2 million ton rated production capacity of next year. And then we have a plan to grow to 1.35 million ton in about three years time and followed by another expansion to 1.5 million ton. Uh, I believe you're looking at uh, a zinc smelter in uh, Gujarat. What's the, what's the progress on that, and uh, when does this work come to an end? So when I look at overall Hindustan zinc, if I have to paint a picture, uh, what it would be like going forward, I mean, 10 to 15 years, we should be anywhere above 2 million ton production capacity, with about 1.5 million ton in India, another 0.5 to 1 million ton 
anywhere in the globe and the geographies of attractive are south africa could be one geography to operate from looking at the logistics of uh, using europe as the customer base and in india we would have our own expansion of the mines followed by one custom smelter in one of the port locations and that's why gujarat was attractive we are still on the drawing board we are going through the process of environment clearance once these clearances are in place i, th I think we should be full swing into the project all right thank you so much for joining us all right